What's going on everyone? This is Random Things Review here and today we are going to delve into this room. Now I'm sorry I don't have a brand name for you or anything. You can look, see, we don't really have a brand name on any side of this. I tried looking long and hard but I can't find any brand names. So we're just going to go with this broom. So I'm really excited to review it, test it out, drop it, and see what we can say about it. So going into it, you'll see that it has like a wooden or an oak finish right here. It could be an oak, maple, birch. I really don't know the exact wood there. But uh, it's got a nice wood lining here. It's got a gloss finish to it too. Um, while it looks nice though, however, it dings pretty easy. Um, let's see if you can get that here. Like right around here, we got like some dingage, if that's the right verb, right on the end, right on the tips here. So it may not be the most reliable broom for your naval fleet or if you're doing any kind of extensive work because it is hard grooming. Now what's also important to note is that this gloss finish does make it hard to grip. Um, when I talk, when I, when, I, when I grip it like this, it really just falls out of my hand really easy like that so I really don't want to do that and that just makes it very hard to, is, I, can't, I can't even pick that up right now, it's almost like it's buttered up if you will. So that makes it pretty hard to grip and utilize so the utilization of it really suffers when you talk about this now going down to the base here you'll see that it's three part disassembly you'll see that you've got the you got the wood here you got the broom itself here and you got this protective yellow casing usually it's it shakes the stereotype of the typical two as i struggle to get that back on Usually it's, it, it shakes the stereotype of a stereotypical two piece, whereas this would be one piece and the wood would be the other piece. So three pieces makes it for a very interesting piece. Now the issue is, is that it really disassembles quickly. So even as you use it, it can just fall apart pretty quickly. And on top of that, this for this particular model doesn't really screw in all the way. It kind of just goes halfway. And so even when you're, uh, when you're brooming, it really doesn't feel like you have a good, secure, tight feel that you really want when you're brooming. So I think that's pretty derogatory towards it too. Going into the bristles a bit, you see that it's got this really coarse material right here. I can try and get a bristle for you here. I actually have one that's fallen off right here. Now these bristles, um, they're pretty coarse. They're pretty much like hay, if you will. They're like really thick hay. Um, definitely on the coarser and thicker side. I definitely wouldn't pet my dog with this or anything, but it's good to handle. Uh, it, it's, got, it's got passion. It's got grit. This coarse work does here so that's uh it's it's for it's for the harder for the harder jobs definitely not for the easy one it's a hardy little uh hardy little broom so now at the base right here you can see that it's got an angular symmetrical kind of like a spaceship kind of look it's a uh, completely symmetrical it's yellow moves up and down pretty easy it does a pretty good job i guess of protecting the cover of the broom but it doesn't really give it weight or structure or anything like that so on the upper side at least it stays uh at least it stays uh buoyant and it stays uh stays kind of on deck but on the on the lower side it really doesn't provide any kind of structural support or anything so that's really essentially everything i have for this broom right here i'm excited to put it on the flex put it on the put it on the table and then drop it and see what it's about So for the flex test, you can see that the broomstick is actually pretty rigid. It doesn't really flex too much on that corner bend, and it, that corner bend actually dented the wood on it a little bit. So a little bit to say about the dexterity and the toughness of it, but maintains rigidity, maintains its shape. Not the most flexible thing in the world, so I wouldn't go throwing it around corners or trying to wrap it around anyone or anything. It's just not that flexible for a broom. So as you can see from the drop test, the uh, broom is going to plummet to the ground here and it's really going to direct itself towards the bristles and it's going to take a little bit to get to the ground because there's a lot of aerodynamics working in its favor. Bristles are going to hit the ground first and it's really going to bounce up and make a really big effect out of that. You'll see the yellow 
top of it start to jiggle and as it takes a lot of the absorption and by the time it gets to the actual stick wooden part of it there's not too much force to be left with so yeah, a lot of it travels through the bristles bristles kind of bend act as like a suspension in the drop so i guess it does a decent job but frankly i wouldn't take this broom off road or do any kind of crazy excursions with this broom i just don't think it's that kind of broom so that should be really noted when you're looking to purchase one of these brooms or utilize one of these brooms for an outdoor adventure. And now for the final ratings for this broom. Going into it, weight and grip, 6.4. Does a decent job. It's a pretty light broom, but the weight is really uh, suffering, and as well as the grip. Really slippery, and it can really slip out of your hands. and can cause a little bit of a hazard there, so that's what the docking points are for that. Bristles, 7.8. More on the stiff side, not soft, perhaps, like you would like. It's a very gritty broom. You'd use it in gritty circumstances. Cleaning up a stadium floor or something, but not cleaning off your puppy or something that's a fact presentation in class that's a 6.8 i mean it looks decent but it's got that weird yellow color it's almost amateur elementary if you will so that kind of docks the points there self-defense 7.2 it does disassemble and make a nice stick uh, it's got three four feet of reach so if you need to keep someone at bay or keep them away it gives you around three four feet of range that you can keep them away with so Kind of good there, but not the best at deflecting bullets or anything like that. And dexterity, that's a 5.5. Just you can see it disassembled when it was dropped, and it's pretty flimsy and doesn't really uh, hold together well. So all that combined equally, that gives us an overall rating of 6.9 for this broom. Definitely better brooms out there. Not the worst thing in the world, but a 6.9 for this broom. <music> Well, that's what I have to say about this broom. Thank you so much for watching. Please check my channel and see my other reviews, and let me know what you like to see reviewed next. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.